Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to change the color of eyes using Photoshop. It's pretty easy, let's get straight into it, I'll see you in Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, got this awesome photo here. I downloaded this from a website called pixabay.com. They're not sponsoring me or anything like that, but I use them quite often to download images and they're completely free, which is awesome. So we've got this beautiful photo here of a set of beautiful eyes. And what we're gonna be doing is changing the color of them. So what we wanna do first is you can press Q on your keyboard or you can press this quick mask here. And that just means we're gonna be in quick mask mode. So I'll press Q and this tool here, when you select a brush, so make sure the brush is selected, you can actually paint areas you want to select. So right now nothing's happening because white is the foreground color. But if we flip these so that black is the foreground color, that means that's the part we're going to be masking or selecting. So let's just press X again and paint away all this, get rid of it. And that's how we're going to be selecting our eye. Now there's plenty of other ways to do this. You could basically use uh, the pen tool to trace around the eye like this you know, something like that. Anyway, just doing it quickly. You could use the polygonal lasso tool, but this one's gonna be hard because it's gonna be kind of like jagged lines. So probably not a good idea with that one. And even the magnetic one, if it's a clear enough image, sometimes Photoshop is smart enough to trace pretty well around the eye, but yeah, it's not perfect. So I prefer to just do the method I'm about to show you. And that is using the brush in quick mask mode. So, what you want to make sure is that your black is your foreground color here. Now, if your colors here aren't black and white when you're in quick mask mode. So again, let's just start from the very beginning because I might have confused you with those little selection things I was doing. So what you want to do as soon as you open Photoshop and you've got your image in there, we're going to press Q. That brings us into quick mask mode and these palettes, this color palette here should automatically change to the black and the white. But if it doesn't, just hit this button here and that resets your color swatches here to black and white. So like I said before, black is adding to the selection and white will be removing. So we can press X to flick to the white or you can press this button here. So white's gonna remove. So we're gonna be adding to the selection because we wanna paint this eye. And what you wanna do is just a small enough brush to paint all this eye and we wanna paint this red. And this just means the red part is what we're selecting. So it's the part of the image we're selecting. Now I've got my flow set to 59%, which is why it's kind of see-through. And then if I go over it a bit more, it becomes darker. But I just like that because it ends up getting a bit of a smoother selection at the end. So that's looking pretty good. And now what I wanna do is press X again to flip. So this flicks to white. And then we're gonna find the pupil, which is somewhere there. And then I think it might be a bit big, got a bit smaller. And we're just gonna basically paint out the pupil just like that. And we're going to do the same with the other eye. So pressing X to flick back to black as our foreground color, which means we can start drawing the red, which is our mask. And again, just paint this eye. You can paint around the pupil if you want to, but I find it easy to just do the whole lot and then cut the pupil out later. Now, if you go over the edge of the eye a little bit here, it doesn't matter because I fix that up later. So that's probably pretty good. Just clean up there a little bit. Yep, so we're gonna press X again, find the pupil. You can just see through the red, you can see the pupil there and that's it, beautiful. So now we're gonna do is press, we'll zoom out a bit. That looks crazy. <laughs> so we'll zoom out, out a bit, then we're gonna press Q to exit quick mask mode or you're gonna press this right here. So I'll just press Q and now you can see we've got a selection that's been made, but it's selected everything except the eyes as you can see by the marching ants around the frame here. So what we're gonna do is press Control or Command if you're using a Mac but control shift I uh, on a Mac that'd be command shift I and now we've just selected the eyes so now we can go up to our rectangular marquee tool here and then come back down right click in our selection and just press layer via copy so what that's done now is put the eyes on a completely separate layer on their own and we're ready to go to the next step so the next step is to make sure this layer of the eyes is selected and we're going to make an adjustment layer and this one we're going to choose hue and saturation so as you can see, if I start making changes here, it's gonna affect the whole image, which we don't want. We just wanna affect the eyes. So let me just put that back to zero. What you wanna do is press Alt on your keyboard or hold it down or Option if you're using a Mac. And if you hover your mouse just in between these two layers, you'll see a little square pop up with the little, arrow, uh, little down arrow. And this happens if you hold down Alt. So what we're gonna do is click that 
and that'll tie the hue and saturation layer to the eye layer so anything we do within here will only affect the eye layer not the actual whole background or the whole image so now once we've got that done we want to press colorize and this will just affect the eyes um this can change the color of the eyes sorry i was meant to say so what you can do is select a hue so i'm thinking we should go for maybe like a brown the purple looks awesome but maybe we'll go for like a brown like that we can play with the saturation and things like that now if you push these too far you can get some crazy effects but they also start to look a little bit fake uh, especially this lightness one obviously it starts to look a bit weird so we'll just leave that on zero for now or around there saturation bring that up a little bit actually we'll bring that down i'm trying to go for a reasonably natural look so yeah that looks pretty good yeah that looks pretty good play around with the lightness a little bit saturation a little bit more yeah it looks pretty cool and now if you're happy with that like i am just select the layer below it again, which is the layer with the eyes we did earlier. And what I like to do is zoom in and grab the eraser tool and just erase. This just cleans up a little bit of what we did before. So with a kind of soft brush again, about 17% hardness, just go around the edge like this and just erase the edge. And it just gives it a bit more of a blend and more of a 3D look. So and you can get rid of anywhere you've overpainted on the actual white part of the eye. So this works really well. As you can see, I painted a bit over the white of the eye there, but I can rub it all back. And it gives it a little bit more, like I said, of a 3D, like a real look. So it doesn't look as fake. And there we go, that looks pretty awesome. Now, I don't know if the eye color looks real here, but you can tell something's been done, but you can play around with this and get it as real looking as you like, or as fake looking as you like. But let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the after. And this is before so we've gone from a bluey greeny eye to pretty much like a brown let's see if i can play around with this a little bit more get a bit more of a brown happening so maybe this is a better brown somewhere there actually it's probably more real play around the saturation a little bit yeah somewhere there's probably more real and another thing you can do, if you like the effect of the eyes and you can want to sell it a little bit more, make it a little bit more realistic, you can turn down the opacity here of the hue and saturation layer. And if, you can see if I put that to zero, it just goes back to what it was before, but you can find somewhere in between. So it blends between the old color of the eyes and the new color. And sometimes I can make things blend and look a little bit more real than just 100%. But I think we've done a pretty good job. 100% works. Again, there's the after. There's the before. It's as easy as that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. It was a pretty quick one. As you can see, it's really, really easy to do. Now, you might want to do this just to change the color of someone's eyes or make someone's eyes stand out a little bit more. The possibilities are endless, and you can do whatever you want with it. So hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks very much for watching.